Hey everybody. <clears throat> hey everybody. It's TC and it's package day. That's right. I am back and it is package day. Very special day today. I have an Omega Speedmaster Date 3513.50. It's a black on black combo. These are really uh, very popular besides being a Speedmaster, having all those variations that everybody knows about, Moon Watch, all those different things. Uh, just has a very classic look with the big pushers on it, um, kind of the big dome sapphire. Uh, the watch really had looks a lot bigger if you see a picture of it compared to when you see it in person, a lot of detail. Um, I really like these watches, it's very iconic. Um, this one in specific, the serial number is a 1998. Um, these have a chronograph function, obviously we talked about that. <clears throat> 39 millimeter stainless steel case, uh, solid case back, 14 millimeters thick. Uh, Omega caliber ETA 7750, which is 44 hour power reserve, uh, 50 meters water resistant stainless steel bracelet. Um, and like I said, uh, sapphire, kind of a domed sapphire to it. Um, really classic kind of each of the chronos kind of has its own uh, look or font to it. Um, all the markers are different shapes and size. The, uh, the date reading is a trapezoid at the three o'clock. So there's a lot of cool things about these watches and they just have a very unique black with just metal styling to them. Um, I really like the way these look. So again, from 1998, I've got a full setup here. Really happy to see it. Excited to open it and show you today. Omega Speedmaster, baby. Let's look at this. All right, so here we are. Already took off the outer box. Here we have our warranty card, our instructions, <clears throat> and our inner box, actually really good shape considering the year. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, that looks beautiful. Man, considering the year, age, um, just the shine. Cool looking plungers, crown sticks out here, all the writing still intact on the bezel. Um, as you see, <clears throat> as I mentioned, uh, you can see there's uh, the three different kind of chronos and the different uh, fonts of each one. So here's a closer look. Kind of see the different fonts of each one the writing's different on each one different uh different scale where it's written as well got your plungers crown solid case back there very cool looking Got the trapezoid date window there, a little bit different than normal. Case back is always really cool. Very cool looking watch. Um, notice the black, the different, uh, all the, uh, the markers are a little bit different size as well there. And you have your function. Uh, right now, obviously, I don't have it uh, wound up and ready to go here. Uh, thickness looks good. Um, so you kind of see that, that dome shape I was talking about. And like it, they really cool how they did the, you know, the different, there's kind of an inner ring and outer rings in there. Uh, and then the different markers, all the different detail on this watch, just fantastic. And I really love, you know, for me, something that this is vintage or neo vintage for me. Uh, it's really cool. It's a great looking watch to have. Just timeless, just a classic piece that, you know, very recognizable when people have a Speedmaster, you know exactly what it is. So. Very happy to see it. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll keep buying watches and keep showing them to you. Thanks again.